and movie stage is just for the cutscenes. Of course. Storyline in this game is really confusing. It's not a dream. Am I going crazy? Okay. What do we do now? All we can do is wait here until Makino and the others arrive. Oh, are you... Is this a place of worship? I mean, it kind of looks like one, but it's different from the other ones I've seen. It may seem strange, but this is our faith. Oh, well, I don't know anything about religion. It must be a sign. Outsiders like you don't normally possess the sight. Right. Huh. <gasps> I'll go and see what's going on. This game is pretty hard, too. Partly because of the controls, but really, I think the controls are fine. It's like this, um, it's kind of tank controly actually. It is Arco. Where is everyone? What's this? Okay, we don't have a flashlight. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, there's no turning back. Actually, isn't this the same area we were just in earlier? Oh shit. Yeah, it is. And someone just saw us immediately. Alright, there's a gun guy. Oh, and it actually gives you an uh, indicator, too. Okay, circle. Okay, so square's the one I didn't fill. Now, I remember being stuck on this part for a while in my uh, original playthrough, too. Of course, you can't assign it with the buttons, too. Ah, whatever. Eat a dick, bro. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> can I go in here? Please tell me I can. Of course, if I get caught, I'm totally fucked. Okay. He didn't feel like looking that hard. And this is actually really creepy. Just a little loud breathing and shit. Hello. Okay. It's locked. I'm surprised you can see anything without a flashlight, Mr. Priest Man. You got special eyes. Excuse me. I think you're supposed to do something with the freezer, but it's been a while. Oh, you can lock the door? Oh, I didn't know that. It's actually really useful. So they got some new help here. You can get a close look at them, too. They're like gray people with uh, bloody eyes and shit. Is there anything else I can see? Yeah, there's that guy. Not that I can tell where he is. <clears throat> I remember he's off to the side here. I don't remember if it was the right side or left side, though. And I remember there's a puzzle in this particular section that you're supposed to do where you listen in on a radio.
But yeah, I've been watching a lot of uh, Japanese horror movies, actually. Partly because I have plans for a video, but I'm also just really curious to see how different... Oh, fuck. The horror genre is in Jap Japanese movies compared to American. Although I've seen some really fucking good American movies, too. I've seen some Korean and... I think Thailand stuff, too. Thailand. <laughs> Thailand, thick thighs. I can't tell where this guy is. Okay, he's on the left side. So this guy must be on the right. If I look at the map. So I come around there, I go up there. Okay, I want to get to... Ishikawa's house. I think there's a radio puzzle there. So I'm gonna wait for this guy to like restart his patrol pattern or whatever. So movies I've been seeing is like The Ring and Ring 2 as well. I'm not gonna bother watching the entire series though. Honestly, like I think The Ring is like way overrated. Actually, shit, maybe it actually makes sense for me to just get moving here. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I remember there's a guy, like, right here. Please tell me I can lock the door. Oh, God, please. Yes. Okay, I'm safe. Awesome. Okay, this is the guy. You mad, bro? I use the power of locking. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you serious? That's bullshit. Please tell me I can lock the door. Oh god. Oh fuck. What am I gonna do? Oh man, am I gonna fucking die? I probably am. God damn it. <laughs> Please tell me I can close this. God damn it. Okay. See? But yeah, as I was saying, I think the ring movies are actually really fucking boring. Nothing even happens nine times out of ten. Like, I'm not saying it needs to be like a jump scare oriented movie or anything. Fuck no. But. 0705. I see a lot of people talking it up as like one of the best movies ever made. Like the scariest movies ever made. Can I use it? Oh seven. Oh seven. What was it? Oh five? Uh it's what it should be. I'm gonna wait for him to turn around, actually. I like movies like Jew on the Grudge, though, and like Jew on the Curse in particular. Holds a special place in my heart. Of course, like, I saw it before The Ring, I think. I saw the American version, specifically. I just think it's a more interesting movie, anyways. Ugh, that grunting. And arguably I don't need to do this, but I might as well. And this is the radio room, people. Tape deck. Oh, okay. 0705. Okay, how did this work? That just stops it. Seven. 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 Four. Three. Seven. All right. Oh. <laughs> Wrong button. God damn it.
can at least unlock this. Come on, turn around, you fuck. Okay. 7437. Please don't look. Ugh, get moving. You can kind of just barely see him. Oh, yeah. Seven four three seven. Four. Yes. Again, I'm gonna wait. I like the puzzles in this game. One thing that kind of sucks about this game, going back to it, is. Not only is the whole structure of the levels are like really confusing, because basically you have to complete a certain amount of objectives, and that involves main objectives and sub objectives as well. And if you don't do them all, then that will result in you having to repeat and loop over levels until you complete them to 100%. There's some rope on the firewood. Pick up. I don't remember what you're even supposed to do with them. Oh, okay. Requirements for mission objective two. And I don't think there's anything else in this area. I could be wrong. Let's take a look at my items real quick. Found in the shed, sturdy enough to support one adult. I think how this works is it'll help you on the next mission with this particular character. I think I'm done, so I might as well just rush. Ugh, don't moan like that, man. You sound like a shibito. Oh, that's it? Alright. Awesome. What's next in our adventure? Are you okay? Hey, this place is messed up. Let's just go to the church together and, and then think about what to do. The dog's already dead anyway. What an asshole. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, but we have to. I mean, technically he's right, but Jesus Christ, who just says that? <laughs> I think that dog, I think that character is actually uh, blind, too. So she was relying on the dog because of the sight jacking. Are you, are you okay? Can't you walk a bit more slowly? I'm losing you. Uh, what do you mean? I can't see unless I use my chair up. Oh. Are you... Your eyes? Miyako. You still have more to do. You know that we can't proceed without you. <laughs> Won't be long before someone takes a trip to the other side, then. The other side? It looks like you've been taking good care of my sister. Thanks for that. Your sister? <laughs> oh! hey! Fucking wrecked. Let's go! I love the film grain and the cutscenes, too. The whole game just has such a creepy vibe to it. Dreamlike, actually. And yeah, of course, that was the explanation. Come here, girl. Is there anything to scan? There's her. Doesn't seem to be anything in the area. Really? Alright. 
And the melee combat in this game is pretty much the same as in, uh... Ugh, uh, okay. <laughs> Fine. Anything else? Nope. Still just us. Good. I'll just wait for you. You come on. We're fucking around. And I like how there's this weird noise whenever you go first person. I don't know what that's about. I think the only commands you can do in this game is like, um... Hide and follow me and stay. Scarecrow of some kind appears to be dressed in animal fur. I could have sworn I saw something else. I don't know where they are, but... Close though, that's really not good. I know there's a melee weapon around this side. Stop grunting so loudly, it's creeping the fuck out of me. This this game actually does have a video. It has a movie adaptation of it too. I saw it a while back at my aunt's house. Her old house, and it was pretty crappy to be honest. I mean, it wasn't, like, offensively bad. It's just kind of boring. Oh, you can zoom in? What the fuck? Weird. Uh. <laughs> I think this is, uh... Isn't there a padlock fenced around here? Yeah. Yeah. We need something to break that down. And this is probably an unpopular opinion, but... Well, going back to the movie, but... Before I get into that other thing, but the movie just had nothing to do with the game anyways. It's like the biggest problem with it. Actually, just wait. Might as well. I think this is it. Yeah, first weapon. First melee weapon, anyways. And you do this, it's Silent Hill 1 style. Hold down the, the X button for like a strong attack. And just tap it for like a, a light attack. And I think you're supposed to just break down the door. And apparently our flashlight is gone. What the hell is that? Why'd you go down? What? Where are you going? What the fuck? <laughs> you know, j just stay. Whatever. Let me break this. Fuck's sake. <laughs> We're gonna explore the site a little bit more. Dude, I'm right here, please. Ugh, get over here. Stop turning around, you fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. I don't remember having this much trouble. I think I'll just have her sit up here and wait. I'll move her a little bit closer to this. Right now, wait. I'm gonna fucking look around, see if there's like any extra memes. Extra shit to do. Melee combat in this game isn't too bad, I don't think so. It's alright. 
It's like just enough. It's a little bit clunky, but it's playable. Yeah. You can kind of get good at it. Make sure there's nothing around me. I think there's a gutter guy over here. The guy's holding that stick like a fucking gun. It's weird. Anything around here? Oh shit, please don't die. Oh. Uh, yeah, he definitely has a gun. Oh fuck. I'm not sure how health works in this game either. I think it like slowly regenerates when you don't get hit, but I'm not sure. I guess that's it. There's nothing else to do, right? Let's check the map. Yeah. And the camera's okay in this game, too, come to think of it. And I like how it zooms in on shit. When you're engaging in combat. Can you just stay there? Probably don't need him checkmarked. Okay, just come over here. Hurry up and lead the way. Don't rush me, man. Oh, you can move while aiming. You can knock him down before he climbs, too. And usually it takes a few hits. And you can't kite them out if you really get used to the range. Really, the only big threat is when they have, like, a gun. For obvious reasons. There we go. What the fuck? Where are you, bitch? Don't die, please. And that's what makes it hard, because sometimes it, like, gets you out of range. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Let's try that again. At least we know where to go. And there isn't any kind of like mid-level checkpoints either, so you gotta do the whole thing in one go.